In this video, we're going to look at some of the recent updates to VS Code. There were several great improvements. And if you want to learn more about VS Code, check out my VS Code course at vscodehero.com. The link is in the description below. If you find this video helpful, like and subscribe. We now have the ability to split a long file into two separate editors. This lets you edit two parts of the same file at the same time. Now before we could sort of do this, uh, but it would create two editors. So in a file, we could press control backslash and that'll create a second editor group with the same file. The difference is that this opens the file twice. If we open the command palette and search for view split editor and group, or we can use control K, control shift backslash, and that will open this one file in two separate editors but in the same group. So we could scroll to one part of the code on one side and another on the other and do work in both. So let's import meow from cat, of course. And let's also import bark from dog. And then on the other side, we don't have to scroll down. We are, we're already at the portion that we want to edit. And let's go ahead and console log meow and let's console log bark. Again, this is one group. So if we wanted to open up another file, then it's going to open up on top of this other group. It's not separate editors. And of course, if we wanted to split our screen, if we have enough real estate, we can still do that. And we're going to have this editor split over here and then this editor on the other side. And then to join these back together, we can use our shortcut control K control shift backslash. We now have the ability to lock an editor group. This will prevent new editors or newly opened files from opening in this group. So we have a readme file here, a really awesome readme. And then let's go ahead and preview this. So we've got our preview on our right, a readme on our left. Now let's say we're looking at our preview and then we decide to open up another file. So let's go ahead and open another file. Now it has just opened on top of our preview, but we really wanted it to open on the left side. So what we can do, let's go ahead and close this, and then we can lock this right side editor group in the ellipses, click that and then lock group. So now you'll see a little lock symbol here. And now even if this editor group is highlighted and we try to open something, it's always going to open on the first editor group that it finds that is not locked. Now, of course we can manually move stuff into this locked editor group, but it will just not automatically add something to the group. And in the settings under Workbench Editor Auto Lock Groups, we can even choose an editor that should automatically lock a group when opened. So for instance, a terminal, when you open up a terminal in an editor group, it will automatically lock that group. So let's see that. Let's close this. We'll open up a terminal. And then let's take this terminal and put it right up here in a new editor group. And notice that it has automatically already locked. So now when we're in the terminal, if we want to open up a new file, it's automatically going to open in the other editor group. In the last update, we got built in bracket pair colorization, which you can see here. Each bracket has a unique color to help us understand what context we're looking at. Now, this replaces the very popular bracket pair colorizer extension. This new built in colorization is much faster. But we now have very basic bracket pair guides, which displays vertical guides to link matching bracket pairs. We can enable this in the settings. Right now it's disabled. If we go over to the settings and we look for editor guides bracket pairs, and let's go ahead and turn that on. It's turned off by default. When we have that turned on, now we can see these vertical guides which match our bracket colors. So as we highlight, we can see what context we're looking at. And they say that in the next release that they'll continue to work to improve this. VS Code is continually improving. Let me know what your favorite feature is. I also have a VS Code cheat sheet that you can download for free. The link is in the description. It has keyboard shortcuts, my favorite extensions, themes, fonts, and icon packs. And that's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.